Jackson's Alumni Stadium. This facility will come alive Friday for the Week 10 matchup of the Cavaliers and Ironmen. Chillicothe is 7-2, Jackson 8-1, both undefeated in conference action and square off in the inaugural Frontier Athletic Conference football championship game. The kids have been excited about this. You know, we were looking at the preseason, and again, we circled this as one of the main games on our schedule, uh, hoping that Week 10 would be for a conference championship, and, and lo and behold, we're here, and uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity to be the first conference champions. Well, you look at our last two battles. The kicking game come down and cost both of us, cost both of us wins. Uh, you know, two years ago we went down there, missed an extra point, lost in overtime. Come back last year, uh, we got a little debacle there in the last nine seconds. They had a chance to tie us, uh, and they, they screwed up their kicking game. Uh, I've been thinking about it all year, just constantly, just all through the offseason, we've been thinking finish, 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 because we were there. We just didn't make plays when we need to. We just didn't finish when we could. That's just been kind of been our motivation is just – come this year and finish and win the first ever fact. We haven't won a league title in 27 years, so this is a goal we set out at the beginning of the season. They like to hype the Wilson game up, but you know, this is the game we've been focused for. We started, went to Berg, you know, lost some battles, but we've came over. I think we've grown as a team, we've grown as individuals, and I think a lot of us are excited for week 10. I think it's gonna be a good week. Oh, it's very special, considering I've only lost him one time my whole high school career and my junior high and uh, Pee Wee. We've only lost him once. And to beat them my senior year to win league would just be special to end it like that. It's uh, really important to us because we've won back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back SUAL championships. And since that's over now, we definitely want to win the very first FAC championship. Especially our senior class, we've, we're really close to each other. And um, we always push each other in practice. And this is... This game has been circled on our schedule and is a really big goal for us, and we just want to come out on top. It means a lot just for the simple fact that we've grown up playing these kids. We've uh, whooped them a few times. They've put it to us a few times, so it's always kind of been back and forth, and it's been a battle every time we played in high school and just always looking forward to it. We had a very tough non-league schedule with Hartley and Laking Heights and Marion Franklin and Taze Valley. We knew if we could get out of it with three wins that we would be set up perfectly for our season and it would help us down the long run like in playoffs and stuff to play good teams. What we've seen is week in and week out we've gotten everyone's best. Uh, so even teams that maybe we look on paper uh, shouldn't have been as close they have been because they've played you know great games against us. But I think you know we look at our schedule we, one through ten uh, this game coming up Friday night will be the best team uh, next to Wittersburg that we have played. All the years we played them, everything else has been a close, tough battle, you know, you know from start to finish. Uh, it's just two good programs, two great communities. We've had a lot of battles throughout the season. We lost one of our best defensive linemen in the early game of week three, the early part of week three. But, you know, other people have stepped up and they've produced and it's kind of molded us into the team that we really are, that we've been looking for early on. We found that team and we found that grit. Well, that's the whole point. Championship week, we've been working for that all year. And this is the biggest week of the year. Building up 7-2, want to be 8-2 and two and get in the playoffs and win league. They're not trying to give us pressure. I mean, we know it's a big game. We don't really need motivated for this. We, we know it's a big game. They believe in football down there. And, and uh, you know, it's just, just, you know, to be the best, you have to beat the best.